students are talking about math. They're talking about it in the hallways and on the playgrounds, and they're wanting to go home and log into Khan Academy. It's, it's really exciting. The question that high-performing districts, I think, have to constantly respond to is, is why change if things are going well? And it, it really came down to what our, uh, our mission and vision were about. How can we make learning meaningful for, for each student at the individual level? In looking at Khan Academy or, or any other tool, it, it really comes down to what's the benefit for the student, what's the benefit for the teacher, in that order. Khan Academy got students the instruction, the learning that they needed at the level they were at, at the time they needed it. The value for the teacher was the data elements that were available. Teachers could know at any moment in time, in real time, where a student was uh, soaring successfully and where a student was struggling. The benefits allow teachers to rethink instructional time. We're actually finding we have more time. Teachers aren't spending time on skills that students already know. They're able to adjust their time accordingly to truly meet the students' needs. So we started with three teachers, 120 or so students, and now um, in our second year we have over a thousand students using Khan Academy as an online tool and about 50 teachers involved in the project. From the first time we started this, the kids were just through the roof about it. I mean, they just couldn't quit talking about it. They were excited. I could see that enthusiasm. I could see that they were just wanting to spend hours and hours of time doing math calculations. So right there, it's like a huge, like, woohoo moment because kids don't want to sit down and do math calculations very often. We're able to move faster through the mandated curriculum. And so we've had more time, actually, to pull in projects, to pull in other kinds of activities that aren't just out of your math book, which is fantastic, because that's where kids really learn and that's what they love. They get excited about actually working on something to see how it actually is applicable to their world. But we couldn't have gotten there without, I think, having blended Khan Academy into our instruction. Well, I always wanted to try to do other things. I always tried to pull in projects. I always tried to find ways of hitting all the students at all their levels. And I just never felt like I was doing a very good job at it. So when Khan Academy came, within the first two weeks, I could see the kids that were struggling. Some kids were already passing module after module, moving into algebra, moving into places that I hadn't gotten to with them yet. I just looked at it and said, oh my goodness, this is amazing and I was able to pull in small groups of kids to help boost them up, find out where their levels were that were way below where fifth grade was at the time. And it finally gave me the freedom to know that I was teaching everybody and that nobody at any time was bored. It helps in that I can pinpoint certain areas. Sometimes you can go for weeks and not know that a kid didn't get something from two chapters ago. So with Khan Academy, those things kind of show up a little bit more often and you can, you can go in and sort of save the day. <laughs> Khan Academy has really had a great impact on most of my students. Uh, there are those high achievers who use it to move ahead and they're curious about math and they're wanting to move on and they're wanting to explore new things and they have the ability to do that. Then we have those struggling learners who are still struggling with basic math that they never mastered in third, fourth, or fifth grade. And this gives them a chance to go back and fill those gaps in their understanding and move forward on a firmer foundation. These kids are actively engaged in their learning. These kids are applying their understanding of math to different situations. And they can have opportunities for one-on-one -on -one interactions with me or small group interactions with me where we can have um, math conversations that really contribute to their learning. In the past, I had to spend a lot of time collecting papers, looking them over, carrying big backpacks full of materials to and from school. Um, and getting paper cuts. And now I have all of that data on my computer and it's so convenient because I can be up 10 o'clock at night or five in the morning or three in the afternoon in the midst of my class and I have it all there. I've gotten emails from parents that said, they're having trouble on the homework and I can go back and look at what that child was doing that night 
find the exact problems they're having issues with and plan my lesson for the next morning with that child. So my teaching is more informed and more targeted and I don't have to carry that big backpack around. <laughs> The most exciting thing for me has been just the idea of the door being open now to other possibilities, right? Because the tool's gonna change. Um, what we're going after remains the same, right? Optimizing the learning time that we have with these students. Teachers in this district um, have gone through a series of trainings this year uh, regarding blended learning and implementation of the Khan Academy. And we're seeing these emerging practices um, from our teachers that are incredible and they're doing wonderful things with the Khan Academy and with other tools um, for kids. And so math instruction has, has really become um, richer and more engaging for our students. I inevitably am learning alongside the students and sometimes it's really uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, I think it just is a really powerful experience because then the students are seeing someone in action being a lifelong learner. And as a teacher, that's what I really want to show kids, that it's not just about learning math today or learning science this week. It's about how do you learn for your whole life? Give yourself permission to not be the expert for, for a while and to learn alongside your kids. And that will create an amazing relationship between you and your students as you discover things together and as you celebrate accomplishments together.